everybody, I'm Chris Brown, owner of Five Star Home Inspections, and welcome to our video series. I want to talk to you today about water testing, the different types of water tests that we do, and also the requirements uh, by uh, certain factors involved with the lending process. Okay, two different types of water tests that are very common. You have your standard bacteria, and you have what's called the FHAVA version. The standard bacteria test is going to check just for your chloroforms and your E. coli. Your FHAVA water test is going to check for your uh, E. coli and your chloroforms, but it's also going to do your lead, your nitrites, and nitrates. Nitrites, nitrates pretty much detect fertilizer counts in your water level. Now, most lenders that you're going through uh, that are providing you with an FHA or VA or other types of government-backed loans are going to require this water test. It's going to be a requirement to be able to qualify for the loan. Okay. Your standard bacteria is really a good way just to check to see the water quality of your house. Now, if you're on a uh, community well or a uh, city supply system, you really don't need to worry about it because all of that water is treated way before it ever gets to your home. If you're on a private well, that's a different story. Uh, there's a lot of contaminants and different things that can get into your private well systems from varied sources, okay? So that kind of explains the difference between the two tests and, uh, you know, the, the, the obvious needs, all right? Now, really simple. We take these samples. We take them to uh, a lab. Uh, we have three or four different labs around the area that we take these samples to. They run the tests. They give us the information back and then we send it on to you as the clients, okay? So to take the water sample, uh, there's, there's a lot of different theories about this. Um, I like to take my water samples right straight from the kitchen sink. Some prefer to take it from the wellhead. I've even heard some folks will, will take it from an outside water faucet, okay? I personally think outside water faucets a bad idea. There's a ton of contaminants that could be in those which could really skew the quality of the test. Taking it at the wellhead really doesn't identify if you have a problem between the wellhead and actually what's coming out of this faucet. You have water piping all through the house, you have the water heater, you may have a filtration system, okay? So you really want to identify at the last possible point, all right? And then obviously from the kitchen sink, that's where you're gonna draw most of your water from, okay? So to take the sample, a couple of steps. First of all, you never wanna take a water sample with one of these spray heads on, because you could have contaminants right here in this end of the spray head, okay? Same if you're, let's say if you take it from a bathroom sink, you need to remove the aerator, because you could have little particles and contaminants in that aerator. All right, so the proper procedure is you remove these heads, okay, and you want to run cold water, not hot water. Turn your cold water on for a couple of minutes, okay? Let it run. Another good thing to do, too, is to take a, uh, before you turn the water on, actually, is take an alcohol swab and swab this all up to make sure that there's nothing on the end right here, all right? And then you simply just draw your water bottles and you want to fill these all the way up. This is how we do it. And then we cap them off. And here's a good tip for you right here. Don't ever let go of this hose. Don't ever let go of this hose. Don't ever let go of this hose. There's a weighted ball on the end of this down here. If you let go of the hose, the hose is going to go back down into the faucet and you're going to be very unhappy. Okay? So, we put that back on. And we're done. We cap it off, we take it to the lab, and then we wait for the results. It's as simple as that. Uh, if you go on our website, there are varied prices between these two tests. So be sure to visit us at www.5starhomeinspections.us. 
or you can certainly call us 855-500-3744. And uh, hopefully you learned a little bit something today. And uh, we certainly appreciate you taking time to watch this video and uh, be sure to look out for more videos because um, this is gonna be an ongoing thing for us. Thank you.